and conscience. Conscience? Consciousness. Conscience. So Plex is one of the best ways to keep all of your media in one place. All your movies, all your TV shows, music, if you don't stream it from somewhere like a normal person now. There is a potential problem. What if I buy a new computer? Well, if I, if I have all of my files on a dedicated server, you know, with the rack mount solution and UPS and, you know, constant backups, I've got no problem. But maybe I didn't take the time to do all that. Maybe I've got all of my files on a computer and I just need to move them all to something else. Uh, really quick to clarify, I am on uh, OS X. Uh, there's plenty of tutorials that will show you how to do it on PC. Uh, and Linux is basically the same. Uh, between the two of them, between OS X and PC, you should be able to cover most of your Linux distributions out there and so the only thing left over is like if you have some kind of free NAS storage setup which honestly I know nothing about so when we want to back up the server there are basically two things we need we need all of our movies all of our TV shows music if you have it photos if you have it you need all of the actual files but that's only one piece of the puzzle there's a second piece and that's all the data so the movies are easy you know where your movies are in my case all of my uh, media is in my movies folder, neatly organized in a little Plex folder, and I've got all my movies and all my TV shows. No problem. And I can go ahead, pull up uh, another storage device, and go ahead and just copy these files over here. I, so that that's no problem. What the issue is, is getting this data. And there's entire websites dedicated to this. Uh, I've got a good one. Uh, like the official Plex website that tells you where to get the files you need if you're on Windows, OS X, whatever. And we're going to be following that. Uh, there are a few directories that we'll need to go to, and uh, that'll be in the description. So you probably won't even have to click on the link, but if you do, it is down there. Uh, to get all this data backed up, uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and open up a new Finder window, come up here to the Go menu, uh, go to Folder. Uh, there is a shortcut there if you're a shortcut person. And you want to type in uh, slash library. What am I doing? I copy and pasted it. You want to copy and paste from the description. Library slash application support slash Plex media server. That's the folder you want to go to. Once you're inside of here, you'll see a whole lot of data, crash reports, updates, media, metadata. That's what we came here for. What you want to do, get your uh, external drive, whatever that may be. We'll make a new folder in here. Call this, uh, let's see, Plex stuff there's another file we're gonna need to get here and it's a plist file so so we'll make a new folder for this Th these are not plist and we'll make another one real quick just for the plist file copy all of these paste them into this folder no problem now this will vary in size quite a bit uh, me personally like I said I've got uh, what 200 basically 300 movies uh, here in my library, and somewhere around 1,200-ish TV episodes. So, a sizable library, not huge. Uh, you know, not, not anything out of control. Uh, my library ends up being around one and a half gigs. Not my library, but this data. Uh, okay, so once we have all this copied, we're good to go. Go ahead and hop into our plist folder, and uh, we'll come back to the description in my case, this uh, website here, and copy. We want to go to uh, library slash preferences. Uh, you can navigate to these from like just clicking into the folders, but this is easier. Anyways, uh, what we're looking for in this folder is a file called com.plex app, some other mess. It doesn't matter. We just need this com. There we go. There's the file we want. Copy that and good to go you don't and uh, remember those directories that we just got files from and let's shut down plex oh uh, in case you're wondering on my dock it's just a chrome app so just chrome if you're uh, wanting to do that same thing uh, plex chrome web store web app 
and uh, give that a download. And now all of this data should be gone. Actually, uh, in theory, uh, actually, you should just be on the new system at this point. But anyways, uh, just for proof, if I go ahead and fire up my Plex Media Server app, we're going to get some wacky uh, <laughs> error messages. Uh, no servers. You could click where is my server, but it won't know because it's gone. So, uh, so here we are on our new computer. Uh, I was doing air quotes, but then I realized you couldn't see me. Plex.tv. Come over to the downloads uh, section of the site, and we need the computer version. It knows that I'm on a Mac. Give it just a moment, and uh, we'll get this Plex Media Server app now. Uh, so what we can do is go ahead and copy this, come over to applications and drop it in there. Okay, so now what we'll go ahead and do is uh, go ahead and open up this app real quick. Uh, okay, and then we'll go ahead and fire up the uh, Plex in our browser. We'll agree to their terms of service. Uh, but what we'll go ahead and do is just exit out of this. And what we want to do is get the go back to those original directories. Uh, so paste from the description again, come back over to this directory, and you can see we have some of those original folders. Uh, so if we come back over to our, let's see, our external drive, this is these are not the plist files. What we'll do is we'll come in here, copy all of these files, paste them in, uh, and we want to just replace all of these folders with our older files. Uh, and then uh, we'll come get that plist file, head over to the second directory. All right, let's see. Okay, and now we'll go ahead and drag, copy in this uh, plist plex app file. Uh, we'll give the same type of situation where we just want to replace the file. Give it a moment. All right. Now, if we go ahead and fire back up Plex, come up here to the little Plex media server icon, open up Plex. Uh, we'll go ahead and sign in. Uh, okay. So then we'll go ahead, come up here to the Plex on the menu bar, uh, quit this. We're going to restart the Plex media server here. All right. So come in here restart up the media server. Uh, then we'll go ahead again, come up here to the uh, menu bar, open up Plex, and all of our files uh, will be back. Uh, if I go ahead and just open up the, if I go ahead and just use the Chrome web app, which is what I usually use, we'll have all of our Plex files showing up here in a moment. Uh, let's see, we can go ahead and go full screen again. Got all of my movies and TV shows back in here. Can pick on something I like. If I just come to, I get all, all even all the uh, uh, on deck information, all the stuff that I've been currently watching, all of that information is back. I can click on something I was in the middle of watching. All, it, it's it's like I never moved computers, but I totally did. Uh, but anyways, hopefully that should help you out if you're moving your Plex server. Uh, if you liked what you saw, feel free to check out all the stuff on my channel here uh, or head up my uh, website maxc.co i'll see you next time